a da, da, da. welcome back to part three we are now getting into the fun stuff um we're about to start placing notes and get it all lining up and stuff but ultimately there is one major thing we need to do left until we have free reign to do whatever the fuck we want and that is aligning the grid so what i mean by that is our bpm that we grabbed before from our little program in the first second video um was to grab a bpm and for our song it was 93.3 now we're loading this up edit edit level what essentially you want to do um is you will start this and it'll be nice and blank unlike what i just showed you right um and first we just need to i need to show you how to navigate i guess this area before we start aligning the grid um so on the right hand side we have multiple buttons here we have um, the red square, we have the blue square for red and blue notes. We have mines, we have barriers. They're the walls that you end up dodging and such. And we have the delete key. You can navigate these by tapping one, two, three, four, and five respectively on uh, your keyboard. Um, and then the top lines here are essentially a, um, uh, is, is a bloody menu, right? Now, now, we go into that, uh, it gives us some other settings and things that we can play around with, which are good fun. Um, and in the top left, we have a play, we have a pause, and when we're playing, we have a stop. The difference is when you play, you are playing from where this white grid is, right? Um, the pause is when you pause it, you will pause exactly where the white grid is, and then when you click play, you resume it. When you tap stop, you will return to where the white grid last was. So when it's at the beginning here and I play and then stop, it returns to the beginning. If we come, if we play it and then pause it on number two here and then play and then click stop, you will come back to two. Um, to move it along the grid, you can use the scroll wheel. So that's what I'm scrolling here and you can see the numbers going up and down, right? Um, to fly around, you want to hold right click on your mouse. So when you hold right click is when you get a uh, view and it pretty much just turns into first person, um, like shooter controls. Uh, it's actually closer if you've ever played Minecraft and have flown around creative modes, exactly like that. Space bar is up, control is down and use WASD to move around and you can view it any which way you bloody well want, um, which is beautiful. Now. You can place notes directly like on any point out here, um, or if you want them on different layers, you've got to use the actual grid here. If you actually want to uh, place a note on either the middle or the top layer um, out here, you can use the arrow up and down keys um, to place them all at that height. I, I almost never use this. I just use the grid <laughs> exclusively. Um, yeah, so what we need to do is we need to match up the, or align the grid with the song. So what we need to do, uh, you, we need to come over to the number one here. It doesn't matter where you put it, um, like along that line, but we want to put a square on one, we want to put a two, we want to put a three. I'd say you want to put about eight of them, all right, um, in a row. And what we then need to do is in the top left, uh, top right here with the lines, is we've got this setting here called note sound. Um, if I actually play this, it's just playing the song, right? But if I change the note sound and we've got ticks, which is a, a very, it's the best of the all three sounds, I believe, as it's very, very short, so it's a lot easier to line up. We've got a slice sound, which is the one from the game, and then we've got a little Easter egg, a bit of a quack, a quack, right? But I go with tick. And if we play it, we need to see if it lines up, which it does not, absolutely does not, right? Now, this could be either the game or it, um, um, well, so most of the time what it means is like the song itself doesn't know where to start. Um, like the audio file, it's literally just going to start. If there's some songs have a couple of seconds of silence in the beginning, some start immediately, everything like that. We need to tell the editor where it needs to start at, right? So what we do is, as I'm saying, if we tap and play, we're not getting far. So what we need to do is we need to get that initial dunk that one there because this song goes like this that's the beat there doosh, 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 doosh. it's that bass right i can't tell you how to uh work out how, if you know how to clap to a song you're good if not you're probably not in the best place um and pro might might not want to 
V studying how to make beat saber levels. Anyway, so we need that that very first boom to align with that first tick. Right there. Now this is uh takes a little bit of forward and back, but essentially what we need to do is we need to and you need to use the save button every time you do this, right? So you want to tap these lines, you want to tap save. You want to take back to song info and down here we've got this start offset milliseconds. We're going to type in something like 250. We want to tap apply and then go back into the level. Now it turns off the sound, so we've got to go back into the line, tap tick. Yes, it's a little convoluted. The edit is brand new, right? We um, and it's getting there. There's so many cool things in it. We tap play And you can actually see that this grid snaps immediately to where I put that offset, which is you, you can see it just here is where it starts So if that's 250 ish, this is 500 ish. That's 750. So let's try 750. So lines save back down here 750 enter apply edit change it to the ticking sound Oh. and click play that's pretty on point now to make you, you honestly want to make it as accurate as possible what we can do is we can tap the line up here again and we have this other neat little trick this playback speed i recommend literally to put it as low as you can um, as long as it's audible click play now you can hear that the tick comes just before the doosh, like that um, it's all literally just a, a going back and forth. So we save map, come in here. So if the ticks before it, um, it means we've got to delay it just a little bit more. So let's try 770. Apply, edit, line, note sound tick, bring a playback speed down to one, play. Same thing, it's still just before. Save map, back. Go here, let's try 800 entirely. Apply, edit lines tick playback 0 0.1 oh shit again tick 0 0.1 lines ah oh, sorry i was going the wrong way if the tick is beforehand you've got to reduce the latency because if we're not delaying the tick we're reducing the song my bad my bad save so we've got to go below 750 so let's try 730 Apply, edit, tick, 0.1. Just, just before it. So we might do one more, I reckon, 7.15. Apply, edit, 0.1, tick. Perfect. We'll go back up to one playback speed and we'll tap play oh. the other thing to worry about i apologize i already found the new bpm we put it as 93 in here that shouldn't be lining up as far most of your songs at this point will but i've specifically chosen this song because it's one of the ones where a bpm detector doesn't work too correctly so i'm putting 93 there yep. going back in i'm gonna because remember we did 93 in the second video <laughs> yeah we then need to realign it again after everything i just bloody did this is the honestly it seems convoluted and to an extent it's more or less that it just takes a bit of time but once you've set this up the entire thing is great now our delay is far too big since i've changed the bpm so let's back it all the way back to something like 400 I'm purely showing you these at like the most raw level possible. So you get the best chance of, if you're finding any of these little issues are happening, I'm pretty much giving you all the worst case scenarios. Tick. A bit more, let's try 500. Apply, edit. Zero point one because second I don't know five fifteen yeah. 
Okay, we line up perfectly. We bring this back to one, and this is the initial issue, right? So we get the beginning of fine. Oh, but the rest of the notes aren't lining up. That's a shame, right? Um, this, I've shown you this specifically with this song. We got 93 from that program, and even in Serato, and even um, if you research the song, it's uh, that specific remix, it does show as 93 um, through different programs but we know it's definitely not right. So what we're going to do, and this is what I recommend if you get stuck in this position, again, I'm showing you every worst case scenario instead of having to follow up questions and shit like that, um, is to go to this free website. It's all8.com slash tools slash BPM. Um, I'll actually just put it up there. Okay. Um, what we wanna do is we wanna play the song Click in this little white box here and then just tap a, um, any key on your keyboard in time. I recommend to do it maybe 20 to 30. Now you can pretty much see it. You can see in the middle here, the nearest hole is the thing that's going to work the best for us. So it's 70, right? And this is what you saw initially when, because I'd worked this out just earlier on, because um, this is a great example of a song for us to get this working on. Um, bear with us. Cool. So we know, okay, it's 70 based. 70, cool, save map. But remember, it's then thrown off that initial delay which we found out was supposed to be, was it 7.15 we set it to? The level. Tick. 0.1, oh, it. 0.1, tick. Yes, it was. Cool. And then we're ready to play. So what I mean by that is now we've got the correct BPM in there. If we click play. Now, a good way to test if you've got the right BPM, because if it's off even by a single BPM, um, it, it can really throw you off, is you can go really far into the song and put some down um, in the same spot, so on the thick white line, and then tap play. And making sure it still lines up. If it is, you're good. If it's not, um, but the first eight sound correct, you've either got, you've got one or two scenarios there to deal with. One of them is either your song has a variable PPM, meaning we're at 70 at the moment, and in some songs later on it can change. That's not something that's built into the editor yet, and you've got to do a lot of manual things. Um, it is possible, but, um, and we may talk at a later time, just not in this video. The second um, uh, thing that can cause it is, like, we're at 70 BPM, most Music artists, when they make a song, they do make it a flush number, so 70 or 71 or 72. But there are some rare cases where it'll be something like 70.5 or 70.6 that's required. And the only time you'll ever end up actually finding that is if you put um, more of these notes at the beginning. So I would honestly put something like 40 or 50 of them and just play and just listen to it. And when you start hearing it go out of sync, that little douche and the tick in time with the song, um, if the tick is before um, before the bass drum where it should be hitting, then it means your song's BPM is too slow. So you creep up to 70.1 or 70.2 and test again. If the tick is afterwards, then you come the other way. You come 69.8. If anyone honestly needs any help with that type of thing, do message me in my Discord. Um, link will be below. Um, uh, but yeah, ultimately, that's what we want. Okay, so we've now got it all lined up. We are golden to go. Make sure to keep using this save every time. Oh yes, and this is what the quack sounds like. By the way. But we use the tick. Now, now we've gotten to that. You know what? I think I'm actually gonna be putting note basics into the next video. This one's long enough as just aligning the grid. So we will see you next video in showing how to place all the different types of notes and things like that. We will see you then.